Hi and welcome to episode 119 of this little podcast which is now officially three years old. Imagine that. Um, hi, welcome back. I might regret wearing my hair down later. I've been watching people from Copenhagen posting about rain and how glorious it is and... Come on, share the rain. Anyway, this isn't the weather po uh, podcast. Why would it be? Um, as you can tell, I am wearing something. I am wearing the Jenny Flower top by Julian and St. Paris. And it's been done for more than a week now, I think. Um, only got around to washing it just a quick soak really uh, the day before yesterday because I wanted to wear it yesterday I was going out to brunch with a friend and it was going to be hot even though I was promised that the temperatures would be lower and more like a regular Danish summer yeah they lied dirty dirty lawyers so I wore this all day yesterday. As you can see, it's really relaxed. It has really wide open um, armholes because you can't really call them sleeves, can you? Um, it's basically just the yoke with a bit of ripping. I did bind off this lower edge like three times. Um, this is all the remains of yarn other than the snippets that I cut off. Um, yeah. It weighs all of 99 grams. Predominant, predominantly with the blue. This is a silk yarn. I do have the label here because some, for some reason it just ended up there. It's two colours of uh, Evelyn's on focus come on darling you can do this I know you can do this you're not going to do this okay and a very informative label in Japanese come on yeah there we go so two skeins of this and you have a top and as it is silk, it's really nice and loose and open and it will, not only will it stretch, it has stretched. Um, and it is it is very see-through, which is why I'm wearing a white tank top underneath. I didn't yesterday and it wasn't indecent. Um, my friend didn't notice until I stood back up and she could actually see my stomach through and she was like well oh, and that was only emphasized by the uh, the trousers I was wearing because you could actually see hey there's a bit of me yeah i.e my stomach not covered um because suddenly my uh, trousers appeared below my top but it was really nice and it's very it's very easy to wear because it is so light. Now, I went down a couple of sizes, I think. Definitely one size, maybe two sizes, compared to what the designer wanted me to, uh, to use. Because it is a very loose top. It is supposed to be very oversized. It still is, because there's a lot of give in this. But because of the silk, it just hangs. Because that's what silk does. It drapes like mad. And it's fabulous. If that's what you want. If, you, if that's not what you want, yeah. you're in problem. Uh, trouble. But yeah. Really like it. Um, it needs a proper wash instead of just me soaking it. So, next time I'm. Oh, and I think I actually. Did I spill something? I spilled 
something on it yesterday. Oh well, hopefully you can't tell. And even if you can, that's life. I think I spilled ketchup on it. Oh well, didn't notice yesterday. Probably wouldn't have noticed if I wasn't looking down myself as much today. So there you go, one finished object. Stash Dash is still going on. I am failing miserably because, well, because of a sad, sad tale. Do you remember my Sunday tea by Petit Knit? Hmm? It's in the blue cotton wool. I've discussed this so many times because it's on a 3.0 millimeter needle. It takes forever to knit. And if I remember correctly, I started out, I had circled the size that starts out with 103. No, that is a finished bus size of 103. And I I think I discussed this on the uh, podcast and I couldn't figure out why I'd done it. And I am pretty sure I also started knitting it and was going down the yoga bit, decided this is not going to work and then ripped it out. That might be a false memory. <laughs> that might just be my brain going, oh, I've knit this five million times already. Well, I decided to knit the largest size because the second largest size, and it is petite knit. She is not very size inclusive. Um, I am on, as I said, I was knitting the largest size, the one you've been seeing the past couple of weeks, many weeks, many, many weeks. That was the largest size. And that is actually not using the full ease that she recommends for my bus size. Because the bus size for that was 120. My bus size is 116 and she recommends 2 to 8 centimeters of positive ease. So I was on the um, small end of that. So really, when she says her larger size is 120, that's for a bus size between 112 and 118. It's not very large. I am often on the smaller size of plus size patterns um, and rarely the highest size of regular size patterns on the size range there but with petite knit. Yeah. So I was knitting away I was down past the yoke, I'd separated for the sleeves and the body. I was a fair bit down on the body, I think I was a good 5, 6, 7, seven centimeters down on the body. And I've been having this, this little annoying voice at the back of my head saying, this just looks too big. Remember, it's a ripped yoke. A ripped around the yolk, so you're supposed to have the rib open, it's not supposed to be closed. And it just seems so big, but I didn't try it on because, hmm. Yeah. And um, so I did try it on Friday, put it on some spare needles, and it was huge. I mean the ribbing was very close together. You can barely see the purling. Huge. Um, and I ripped it back. All of it until the top neck folded over neckline. I kept that. And then I did some math, looked at I'd already taken my gauge, and then I remembered I did actually gauge watch for this. 
and I there was a reason I'd chosen the 103 centimeter bust because that would give me a bit of positive ease. I think that actually end, would have me end up with the 120 centimeters, which is the larger size. So I ripped back, and just the sadness of this is, I had already started working on my fourth skein. These are 50 gram skeins, so I think these are 50 gram skeins. So really, it's not that much, but still. I was working on my fourth skein, I was working my way down the body and I ripped it back to this folded hem here and of course the neck is different depending on what size you you make um, but I did like, which I still do, the way the neckline hits on me uh, which was <laughs> It was better, it, it looked better, well not look better, but it was easier to see with the full top thing. I didn't want it closer, it was, no, it's, it's a nice neckline. So I ripped it back to that and only increased the number of stitches that I needed to increase to get to the, hundred and three, to the numbers I needed for the 103 size and this is where I'm now so lost all of this it is some smaller uh, I did go down two sizes like I mentioned so at least the circumference isn't as big so should go faster yada 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 but the pain of ripping it back the pain of re knitting all of this ribbing again. Um, the top part is 2x2 two two ribbing, and then it's down to a 2x3 ribbing. So, 2 pearl 3 knit, and then it'll be a 3 3, and a 3 4, and then finally a 4 4. It's going to take forever. Taking into consideration that it's hot and it's wool, it's cotton wool, but it's wool, so it sticks to my hands when I knit because I'm hot and yeah. It'll be good. It'll be. It'll be so good when it's done. And remember, it, the sleeve length is about the same as what this looks like. So really, there won't be a lot of... Or maybe that's just what I'm going to do. Not really sure. Um, but yeah. I felt like crying when I ripped it out. I was actually considering just keeping it as it was and just finishing it and then I thought I'm never going to wear this it's going to be so oversized I'm never going to want to wear it and who do I pass it off to? well no one at this point the camera is blinking at me so I'm just going to keep talking while I just tick you up um, anyway so, that was really, really sad. But take into consideration that I ripped this out after work on Friday. And I didn't really knit yesterday because my brunch date ended up taking more than seven hours. <laughs> yeah, we have a lot to talk about. Um, we don't see each other that often. Even, and we used to work together, so... And a lot has happened in her life, lately. So taking that into consideration, this is actually a fair amount of knitting. So... 
I am going to get it done. It will happen. Just don't know when. I feel like this is this project is cursed. I I don't know why. It's a nice project. Other people are needing their second installments. I can't even get my first one done. Third time's charm. Right? Is it the curse of the cotton wool or is it the curse of petit nil? I hope it's not the latter because well, I cast off one project and I didn't really have a train project because hmm. it's not so much that I don't want to bring a big project on the train, it's more that I don't want to bring a bigger bat than I already have. So the project needs to fit into the bag, which mostly means it has to fit into this bag because this bag fits into my shoulder bag for work. And this is, actually I'm going to show you, this is another petite knit uh, pattern. And it's the Anker Streu, which is not very dissimilar to, um, to the Sunday tea, only it's it's a one by one rib all the way down, or all the way through the yoke. So, I am knitting this out of Filcolena Aveta held double. So, I have two skeins attached to the project, which currently looks like this. Now, the neck looks tiny, but it is very stretchy. I still have my doubts about it. But it is for the six to nine months size, so should work. I don't remember how big babies are. I never had a baby. They just come out and other people have them. But yeah, I've split for the arms and the body. I keep wanting to say arms and sleeves. And now I just need to work down the body. Now, the pattern doesn't tell you to work to a certain length after splitting. It tells you to work a certain length from the middle, from the top down. Yeah. I much prefer to know how much do you need to knit from this point down. Mostly because that's in, and that goes for both adult knitting and baby knitting. Mostly it's because I like to know it's an easier measurement to take because it is a shorter measure measurement um, and yeah, just prefer it that way. Also because sometimes I alter the yoke so my measurements might be off there but I still want the right length. Now, for babies and children in general, you could always just go longer, because they grow like weed. But yeah. Next week, my aim for the train journeys is just knitting down, finishing the body. It will have long sleeves, because babies are born in November generally need something warm. And it is to all yarns held together. So, yeah, not a whole lot to say. Um, it's a fairly easily memorizable pattern. Um, you just do the same thing over and over again three times and then finish off with a, another row of ribbing. And then it's just plain stocking out for both the sleeves and the body until you do the ribbing on the bottom and to mirror I don't know if it is to mirror but it is going to mirror the front or the uh, top so the entire thing is knit on the same size needle 
Usually I go down a needle size for the ribbing at the bottom. Um, that's not in the pattern and really it would look fairly odd even though you, you don't have them next to each other if the ribbing at the bottom did not match the ribbing at the top. The pattern says, this is the second smallest size, and the pattern says that I need 150 grams for this. So I um, I have two 50 gram skeins here. I have three other 50 gram skeins, I think. So I will just knit from the inside and outside of the third skein, and that should give me the sleeves. We hope. We really. Who knows anything these days? I shouldn't talk about knitting. I can't knit. Some things. Um, yeah. Oh! I often talk about back boots in these round yokes here. And I think it's definitely due to the openness of the fabric and the drapiness of the silk that it's just instead of giving the back boobs it just sort of hangs so yeah I still need to take photos of me in this other than the uh, quick straight off the needles photo I took hmm I have one last thing I've done no sewing these past two weeks, none whatsoever. Have all my pieces cut out for uh, the second Charlie Cafton by Closet Case Patterns that I'm going to make. And I also purchased the Closet Case Pietra trouser pattern and some fabric for that. And I actually think, I'm just going to go over here. These are the leftovers from cutting out my Charlie Cafton View A. And there's actually, I think there's one and a half meters of this. It's a cotton, it's soft but has a bit of stiffness to it. And the Pietro trousers, uh, this is just a cotton from Stuff Talk Talking. Not very fancy or anything, but just it looks lovely. Um, the dusty dustiness of the blue gives it a bit of a vintage feel. And really, who doesn't love a thin dress when it's hot out? Um, anyway, the Pietra pattern comes with a wide legged long trouser, uh, a tapered leg. Um, shorter trouser which on me will be full length and that is the one I'm going to make and a pair of shorts and all of it high waisted so I am going to just to try out the pattern I know it won't be the same as if I made a muslin of the tapered trousers but wouldn't this be fun as a pair of just simple hang around at home shorts and there should be more than enough from this I think I'm not sure but I think I th think from the wider this is a pretty narrow um, fabric this won't be This is probably 115 across, you know. So I know for the 150 you only need a little over a meter. So I'm hoping that even though it's n more narrow, um, the fact that I have one meter and 50 should be sufficient. If not, we'll play around with different things um, if nothing else the interfacing
but we need to sew the dress first because it's all cut out, just waiting to be a symbol. But my last thing I've been working on is this, and it's not quite as highlighter neon orange as it's showing up on my screen, but it is pretty close. It's just less electric. And this, which you can see I've, I've gotten a fair amount done on, is Tongue Tied by Poison Girls. It is a vintage inspired pattern. Um, it has these eyelets or mesh like thing up above. It is meant to have negative ease. It has a little triangular guard stitch design here in the front, which is mirrored on the sleeves that you can't see yet. And it's just a plain stockinette, very fitted look, uh, and cropped, ending with a rib. Um, and because it is negative ease, it is, it is a fairly quick knit. Now, I am modifying this because the one, the bust size I want has a very narrow waist compared to me because I don't actually have that much of an hourglass shape it's more of an down and out shape or a little in down out because I my waist is narrower than my bust size but yeah so I'm still doing the decreases that I am um, pattern calls for, I'm doing fewer space further apart so I get the same length but using less decreases. Um, could have just kept the same rate of decreasing and then just gone straight for a bit but the other way will look better and I just opted to mix the bust size that I need with the waist size of a different size. So no real science behind it. Just that the finish should be working. And this yarn, which is the same as this, is Volmeister Lace Gun. It's an experimental colorway. Um, I'm thinking that this was a Fesuk's Canadian that should have been a Do they just call their, their carrot colorway collection? Don't know, don't remember. They have a million colorways, so. Um, and if you're not familiar with the pattern, which you are forgiven for not being familiar with the pattern, it is this one. And I had looked at it, considered it, but it wasn't until I saw um, Kate, Katie, oh god, I can't remember your name, Katie, I follow her on Instagram, she's gorgeous and has a great dress sense and just look at her. Such a cutie. She has made a recently made a dark green version as well. And it just looks so fun and doesn't have to be as vintage as the pattern shows. But hey, it doesn't hurt. So yeah, and um, yeah, I'm really doing it in that bright orange course I like colors. Speaking of liking colors, I had to laugh at myself. I often do. Um, for example, this one, which you can't read. I got a bunch of badges, a bunch, I got three. 
This is by a maker, Sudmax. Uh, she has an Etsy, I think. And she does a lot of not only body positive, but mostly uh, positive messages for people and fun messages for people with chronic illnesses. And yeah. A lot of ways to say, hey, yeah, I know I'm different, but hmm. basically, screw you. So I got this one, which says, not pregnant, just fat. Because believe me, knitting baby clothes, strangers will ask. Yeah. Also got this one. Come on. Which says, chronically fabulous. Because aren't we all? And this one, which is really this should be the motto of my of this pod podcast and really my life. I've forgotten what I wanted to say. Or what I was going to say. Yeah. Really fun. Uh, fairly inexpensive. Very quick shipping from either the UK or Ireland. Don't actually remember. That part of Europe. Which is still Europe. And the same day I also got these. Now, in summer, or in general, I'm not very... don't very often wear socks. I am barefoot right now. But when I wear shoes, which quite quite essential when going outside, um, and wearing them with shorter uh, trouser legs or with a skirt or dress or something, I don't want my socks to poke out of the shoes. So I wear a lot of these short socks and liner socks and all of the ones I have are white or grey. For someone who likes colour, that just seems so... I don't know. And I never really thought about it until Happy Socks, there was a Happy Socks uh, advert on Instagram that popped up for me saying, hey, we have a sale on liner socks. Now I know Happy Socks for their regular socks and they're fun patterns some of them are a bit too crazy for me but hey i prefer a company that does things that i think are too crazy than a company that's just plain boring i was like why do i only have gray and white liner socks when i could have dots colorful dots more conservative colorful dots um, this is a liner sock. Big dots, which is basically just the same, just in a liner sock. And again, a more conservative small dot. 40% oh, off. Uh, it's a Swedish brand, came fairly quickly. On socks and they do wear pretty well uh, from my experience and you have some of the other uh, socks um, yeah they wear pretty well as you can tell I haven't worn them they need to be washed before I wear them but yeah fun socks and that is all that is everything Just checking. Yes, that is everything. Now, today's Sunday. I have tomorrow off. That's the plan anyway. Uh, if I decide to work, it's my decision. Just. Um, and my plan is to use my day off to sew my dress. So hopefully I will be able to show you view a of the Charlie Captain next week in that 
really nice blue colour. Um, and maybe even a pair of shorts. Who knows? Anyway, found a room I hope you have a great week and I promise I'll see you next week. Bye.